hello students so this class we're just going to see the problem which is from uh, week 3 problem number 1 in that a coin of 40 mm diameter rolls over a horizontal table so if there is a horizontal table you can uh, immediately remember that uh, that must be a cycloid okay when there is a coin or any circle is rolling within a horizontal line we can say it is the cycloid so without slipping a point on the circumference of the coin is in contact with the table with the table surface with the table surface in the beginning and and after after this is after one complete revolution so now the question is to draw the path traced by the point by the point and also draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve so for that initially we will make one horizontal table that is a baseline let us consider that is a baseline I purposely made this line for 12.5 mm that is a reason I just name this point is P and this point is Q okay so this complete length one complete revolution must be pi d the complete revolution must be pi d I am just pi d r say pi into diameter is 40 obviously 125.67 125.67 mm okay let it be so let us erect one vertical line from p which is supposed to be 40 mm so there only we just going to draw a circle i just make one uh, vertical line which is 40 and i am marking the center point to make a create a circle so take a compass and just make one circle okay fine so the circle is 40 mm dia diameter you can say this one is baseline this one is a rolling circle this one is a rolling circle so let us divide equally So if you are dividing 12 numbers of equal part, you have to give the 12 equal division in this baseline. So if you are making 8 numbers of equal part, you can make 8 numbers of division in this line. So let us make 12 numbers of the equal part, equal part in this circle. So as I told you earlier, so everything must be 30. Let us make imaginary 30, 60. 120 and 30 okay i just make it to longer side oh it was disturbed
so to slowly we just make a division in a perfect manner so this will be taking a important to draw the <laughs> circumference of circle yeah so let us name for a division this is let it be here if this 12 let us start from inside so this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 similarly 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 at last it is 12 okay this point we are focusing this from here only this point is going to traced this curve so similarly we need to divide in an equal manner of p to q so 12 divided by sorry 125 divided by how many parts if it is a 12 division so 10.47 that means 1 centimeter okay let us divide for a 1.1 uh, centimeter almost 1.05 1.5 centimeter so let us divide in equal manner 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 plus it is 12 somehow there is a small error because of the Compass. Okay. Let me keep this as a point. It's not an issue. So, but you have to make in a perfect manner. Okay. Let it be. Okay. So it's a 12 equal division. So let us name this is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash. 8 dash, 9 dash, 10 dash, 11 dash, at Q is to 12. So similarly, this is the baseline, this is the rolling circle. This circle is going to roll over all the points. See this one's go, one is going to match 1 dash, 2 is going to match 2 dash, like that we just going to create the curve. Okay. So next, we supposed to draw the top line. Let us select a vertical line. Okay, let us make a top line. Again, see here, this is a the top line and here wherever there is a division, there is supposed to be a line. So here if you are seeing 1 and 11, the point 1 and 11, we need to draw parallel to the another line similarly 10 and 2 we need to draw one line and center line just extend that line after that 8 and 4 After that, 5. Okay. These are all the guided line for the cycloids. Okay. So, now we are just going to roll in this manner and we are just going to identify. Similarly, you are at a vertical line up to center up to center see this is the center line you are at a vertical line for all and 
so this is 6 here there may be a vertex here after very simple okay so we just divided center where there is its meet we can name this is a center c c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 c8 c9 c10 c11 it's almost c12 okay let it be so here here after what you need to do just take a compass you take a compass and and measure measure the distance which is between 1 dash to p that already we kept for a equal division okay so now we need to trace the path p1 p2 p3 p4 okay p1 p2 p3 p4 okay now we just going to make yeah now uh, just you take the compass and keep c as a center p as a radius c as a center and p as a radius now you just shift the center c1 as a center now intersect the first line intersect the first line which is in the one I just extend this line okay which is in one so i am just keeping c1 as a center just see c1 as a center i'm just intersecting that first line and c2 as a center intersecting the second line c3 as a center i am intersecting the third line c4 as a center i am intersecting the fourth line c5 as a center i am intersecting the fifth line c6 as a center i am intersecting this here this point similarly c7 as a center i am intersecting the again the down line which is 5 so 7 also the same c8 as a center i am intersecting this c9 as a center i am intersecting this center line c10 as a center i am intersecting this line similarly c11 as a center i am intersecting this line so this those these points are we can name p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 p9 p10 p11 this is p12 so you just connect by a smooth curve that will gives you the path of the cycloid Just make it a smooth curve. We will identify path of the cycloids. Okay. okay fine so at last they are asking to draw one tangent and normal this is a cycloid profile so to draw a tangent and normal you take any point and draw a normal line so uh, usually as for the book they have found between 7 to 8 and they made one line normal line okay let it be normal n this point is e so along this is you consider as a tangent you drop one tangent line 
so let it be t and t so this is a normal and tangent line at last you need to draw for the cycloid that's it thank you